I could tell that most of the work that I would do would be directly reflecting where I came from, um, uh, especially because I was inspired by the, the works that I would see, uh, like the murals. I would go more with, uh, I guess, when I was younger, I would go more for the Chicano look into the art, um, especially because the, that's what I would see over in Segundo Barrio. Uh, I honestly, like, I don't think I, like, I, I don't use my art to forget about things. Um, actually, like, I've learned to embrace a lot of things that I've gone through because um, they, I mean, yes, I might have grown a little bit faster than what it should have, but at the same time, it's like, it put me in the situation that I am right now. Uh, it made me grow as a person, um, professionally and intellectually. Um, so no, like, I wouldn't say that because of the hardships that I might have gone through when I was younger, like, I would want to forget about them instead. Like, I want to embrace those things, like, to help me become a better person, a better artist. You know, as a way of like keeping me out of trouble, um, my parents put me in a program called Creative Kids, and I was about seven years old. Back then, the Creative Kids program was just getting started. They were working with kids with disabilities, and it was a pilot program. They weren't sure it was going to work. It was actually, uh, we didn't even have a place to be at. We would go to community uh, outreach centers, and then we would just, they would just let us be there, and we would just, uh, you know, he would teach us how to paint, how to draw. Uh, 10, 11 years later, they have a huge art gallery downtown, the Olo Gallery, and they're uh, uh, an amazing program. It started from nothing, and I'm, like, I'm proud that you know I was one of the kids that they were able to help. And I mean, they in essence it changed my life. When I started going to Creative Kids, um, that's how I got involved in art, and I haven't stopped ever since. You know, and I'm still doing it, and um, that's one of the reasons why we created the Maximo Art Society here at school. Because we wanted to have a group of people that have similar ideas, that engage with the community. Um, what we're doing is that we're focusing on not on creating art as a society, but in providing opportunities for artists to show their art. So what we're doing is that we're not we're not a collective in the sense that we're not getting together and working on a piece of artwork. What we're doing is that we are providing an outlet for, stu for students that already have their work and allow them to show it. You know, and that way they have opportunities to show their work. The Art Society is really focused on doing this as a gallery, as an exhibition, you know, and serious like focus for artists to do their like their resumes or having contacts with people that do care about art or that do want to buy it, you know, because it's fun. It's fun to have, let's say, an exhibition at the Percolator. It's fun, you know, I've done it, it's fun, but it doesn't really, let's say, it doesn't really have that much benefit for me in difference with other people that are selling little, uh, let's say, comic comic drawings, you know, and they sell them like $10 each, you know, but me, that I do like big sculpture, it's, it's less of a probability to sell it. And I'm not willing to do like other kind of work to just sell.